Today we're going to make palachinke, another great recipe from my grandmother that's perfect for breakfast. The palachinke are similar to crepes but easier to make. You can stuff them with jam or with Nutella and if you prefer a savory breakfast, you can eat them with cheese or with mushrooms. But today we're going to make them like I used to eat them as a child, with ricotta and cinnamon. It may sound weird, but it's very tasty and very nice. We're going to start by making the stuffing. For this, we mix the ricotta with the cinnamon and the sugar. If the ricotta is dry, we add a trickle of milk to get a pasty mix. To make the palachinke butter, we mix the flour with the eggs and the milk and beat it well so it doesn't have lumps. You can also do it in the blender if you want. Now we add the zest of half a lemon or a lime, which I would recommend because it gives a stronger aroma and flavor. Finally, we add the sugar. If you are going to use a savory stuffing, don't add the sugar. The cooking process is similar to making crepes. First, we oil a pan and when it's hot, we add enough butter to get a thin layer covering the pan. This should be around half a ladle. We move it fast to smooth it out. Normally, the first one might not be perfect and may be a little thick, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. When the edges begin to separate from the pan and they are slightly brown, we turn them. When brown spots begin to appear and maybe some bubbles, they are ready. After you have done some, you have to oil the pan again. They should be this thin. Now we stuff and roll them and then cover them with confectioner's sugar. If you use a medium-sized pan, you'll get around 15 palachinke. If you don't eat them all at the same day, you can store them in the fridge and reheat them in the microwave. Now it's time to eat. I hope you like them and remember to subscribe for more awesome recipes. See you later.